RTE says that during a routine audit of its 2022 accounts in March of this year, an issue was identified in relation to the transparency of certain payments. RTE commissioned an independent review and found that payments made to presenter Ryan Tuberty had been understated over a number of years. The review found that under a separate agreement, Mr. Tuberty was guaranteed by RTE an additional annual income of €75,000, which was intended to come from a commercial partner. One of the payments did come from a commercial partner of the station in 2020 in exchange for a number of personal appearances. RTE in turn issued a credit note to the commercial partner, thereby reducing the cost of its overall sponsorship arrangement. The commercial partner did not renew the agreement for a second year, but since the deal for the additional money was guaranteed and underwritten by RTE, the payments were instead made directly by RTE to Mr. Tuberty via his agent. As a result, Mr. Tuberty received two payments of €75,000, totalling €150,000 in 2022, for that year, the previous year, and part of 2023. These payments were recorded in what's known as a barter account. Barter accounts are commonly used in the marketing and advertising sector to enable goods or services to be exchanged for money. Further investigations revealed that between 2017 and 2019, Ryan Tuberty received a total of €120,000 more in payments from the station than had been previously publicly stated. The reasons for these payments are currently under investigation. It all means that between 2017 and 2022, Ryan Tuberty received payments totaling €345,000 above his annual published salary. In a statement this evening, Ryan Tuberty said that like many people, he was surprised by the announcements made in RTE's statement regarding the errors in the reporting of its accounts. This is a matter for RTE, and I have no involvement in RTE's internal accounting treatment, he said. I'm disappointed to be at the centre of this story, but unfortunately I can't shed any light on why RTE treated these payments in the way that they did, nor can I answer for their mistakes in this regard. In a statement, the chair of the RTE board, Shuni Rahelig, described the situation as a matter of profound regret. We are all well aware that this is a serious breach of trust with the public, she said. On behalf of the board, I wish to apologise for what has occurred. It's clear that RTE has fallen short of the high standards that it sets for itself and are expected of it. RTE says that an internal review of its top 10 highest earning presenters shows their salaries have been correctly stated and that it has ordered an independent review to validate this. It says it's also put protections in place to prevent this occurring again. Arts Minister Catherine Martin described the revelations as unacceptable and said that she'll be meeting with the RTE chair on Monday. Brian O'Donovan, RTE News.